your girl Shante Holiday here. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, I am going to be going over the top three reasons why I love Thinkific and why I've been using it for the past five, six years now. And I just wanted to share a little insight on it with you to possibly make your life a little bit easier too. So make sure to stay tuned, of course, until the end of the video, because I do have a special gift for you guys. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But do me a favor, before we get started, go ahead and drop a one down in the comments if you're tuning in live and drop the number two if you're catching the replay, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So what is Thinkific? Thinkific is an e-learning platform where it holds all of the courses that you have in your own mini online university, your online learning center, whatever you would like to call it, right? For me, the first thing that I thought of was how can I give more of myself to my clients and not drive myself crazy trying to be everywhere at one time? Basically, that for me was to create mini educational courses where it gave someone, not many of their full courses, but basically it was able to give someone that whole bite that they were looking for and that one-on-one -on -one feel of attention. Um, so that way they were able to, you know, just grasp more, learn more and stuff there. So uh, the first course that I ever created was the food trucks, food trucks and food trailers and stuff there, because that's one of my passions. I know everything about food trailers. I could talk about it for five hours straight. Love it. So I was like, let me just turn it into a course because every single one of my client conversations were for like two, three hours long. I was giving them full business plans and like I was just fully immersed and stuff and whatever they were talking about, whatever they were selling, it doesn't matter if it was spaghetti, funnel cakes, you name it. But back to Thinkific. So Thinkific made it really, really easy for me to put all of my knowledge onto that platform. It's very easily um, easy to navigate. So the moment you get on the platform, the first thing, of course, you see is the dashboard. I like how they lay everything out in one place. I don't have to go digging around for anything. And so that's me, right? I, I, it's hard learning new things as it is the older you get sometimes, not for everybody, but for some people I'm talking about myself here. And so, um, I've actually used several different, um, e-learning platforms over the years, multiple. And that's why this one is my favorite one because one, it's easy to navigate and stuff there. It's easy for me to continue to learn new things on it. Um, they're always upgrading and adding something new as well, which is always really fun because they're just adding additional things that you can add on to your courses to help them improve later on, right? The next thing that I really appreciate about them is the fact that they make it so easy for me to design my school site and add my branding. Now for my school, I actually wanted as simplistic as possible. I didn't want for someone to have to scroll down for a thousand years to kind of get to the meat and potatoes. So <laughs> mine, I just picked like, you know, the cleanest version to me and stuff there, put my information in there. And it was done. I think it took me maybe a matter of about 20 minutes to knock it out or less. So I would definitely check that out. And at the end of the video, I'll definitely um, share the side um, of the side column of the uh, Thinkific and stuff there, just so that you can have an idea of like the different options for you. Um, the next thing about Thinkific that I did want to point out there is that it's easy for me to provide seasonal coupons for my school and my students, right? So I might have 20% off for back to school. I might have 60% off for Black Friday. I might have 80% off for Valentine's Day. I can actually schedule out all of those things and make my life a little bit easier. Um, but originally and stuff too, after the food trailer course, the second one I did was the DIY credit repair course because I have a credit repair business. Um, prior to me starting my credit repair business, I was actually fixing my food trailer client's credit for free for three years. And so it made sense once I had a new baby at four months to just go ahead and make it official, just throw an LLC on it. So with that, it became very, um, very clear immediately that I was going to have to give 
more and more of myself to my clients. And I was a new mom. I got an infant in my arms and I was trying to figure out the best way to do that without coming up short for my new bit, my new official business there. And so that's when I have like, okay, you know what, let me just go ahead and make this course real quick. And so I tried, like I said, a few different platforms and the process was hectic. It was very hard to kind of navigate through and learn some of these new things. And then I ended up having um, Thinkific be my official course home and stuff there. I was like, okay, let me just kind of stay here and let's build off that. So there's the food trailer school, the DIY school, then it became the um, business marketing because I asked my clients what they need. They were like, okay, we fixed our credit. We have our food trailer. Now we need to understand marketing a little further because clients are not just jumping in our laps. So I added my business marketing course. Thinkific did make it really easy for me to continue expanding my brand with each course every single time. Um, all I had to do was click on new course. Everything is laid out really, really clean, neat, and easy. So that I definitely appreciate. The next thing I wanted to say that I really love about Thinkific is going to be um, how I don't have to think of the perfect email campaign or things of that nature. I don't have to like segment list out unless I absolutely want to. Um, if someone has uh, was in my school and put a course in their cart and left it, they automatically send out an abandoned cart email. When someone um, enrolls in my class, they send out a welcome email. Um, if someone uh, graduates, they send the congratulations email. All of these triggers and things of that nature are automatically set up um, or they give you the option and stuff there to click on what you want and what you don't want. Same thing for order bumps. If somebody tries to check out with one course and I select um, two other courses to also be offered at that time, they're going to go ahead and offer it at checkout, making that $300 transaction a $900 transaction. That's kind of stuff I appreciate. Now, I did take the time to actually sit back and learn about these things too, right? Like I didn't like expect to all of a sudden be some like think if a course expert, platform expert, like actually had to put in the time and learn this stuff too. So definitely don't take that for granted. Um, but what we're about to do now is I'm going to share my screen with you guys. So that way you can actually see the side column of Thinkific and just a few of those different options there. Um, I forgot to mention one thing. So I want to definitely tell you guys this. If you have affiliates, you can actually add them to the platform. You can add out how much their pay rate is, things of that nature. Um, I know that for a few of my courses, I had them put on um, invoices of different companies and stuff there where I thought that their clients would be able to benefit for um, a benefit from additional education. And so, you know, uh, definitely consider all of your options when it comes to offering your course out there. The sky is literally the limit and stuff. So definitely check that out. But if you have affiliates, they actually have an affiliate section as well. Same thing for the coupons, for the design your course option, all of the above. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys. So that way you can see it as well. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to click on share screen. There we go. So right here, you should be able to see right now, you guys, my, um, my Thinkific uh, column on the side there. And I just want to be able to break that down to you. So you're going to see um, manage learning products here. Underneath there, it gives you the option to select your courses, communities, which is if you offer communities with your students, things of that nature, it's all in one place your memberships and bundles. So you're able to have memberships and offer bundles within your school, which I love. Your video library. So if you make Zoom videos, if you make a videos on your phone and things of that nature, and you want to have them in your video library to upload to your courses, you can easily just put them all in one place and then select them as you need them. So yeah. Next one is going to be the design your site option right here. 
So here they're going to give you the option to click on site pages that you've already created. Check out the theme library in case you want to switch things up. Look at the categories you've created. So for example, for my school, I have a few different themes, a few different niches. It started with food trailers and then it branched out to personal development, right? With the whole DIY credit repair and then branched out to business development, business credit, business marketing course. And then it just became additional trades available, different options like that. So online boutique, online um, online boutique, uh, how to start a cleaning company and scale it, things of that nature. So definitely look at all your different options. And if you can, feel free to categorize it. They do give the option here to also preview your website as well. Market and sell, that is also an option as well. When you click on that and you scroll down, it gives you the option to create coupons and make them. Order bumps right here. So we talked about that a little bit earlier, but you definitely want to check out that as well. If you want to create a sales widget and offer it on um, like your other websites, your other brands, maybe your blog, things of that nature, your email campaign, your orders, your affiliates, and your share revenue. Next, you have the support your students options and of course your settings and apps. Um, your account info, and then it also gives you the options up there to give a free month to a friend. So just for you guys checking out this video today, I will be giving you um, 30 days free on Thinkific to check it out and stuff there. Um, feel free to click on my affiliate link right there in the caption. I'll make sure to put it up there for you guys. It is of no cost to you unless you choose to keep it after the 30 days. So Feel free to log in, play around with it, have fun. Um, if you make your own courses, I'm proud of you. That's awesome. I know it is not easy. So congrats. If you need help with that and you just want a strong foundation to start on, you can always check out my white label pre-made courses at hcrcustomservices.com. And I'll make sure to put the info for that for you guys as well. But as always, I appreciate you guys for your time. Today, I went over the top reasons why I think if it is my favorite e-learning platform. And yeah, now once again, if you caught this live, drop a one in the comments. If you caught the replay, drop the number two, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.